Major partners have started to refuse cooperation with Kanye West. Balenciaga announced that it no longer plans to work with the musician and removed materials from the recent show in which he participated. Def Jam stated that it no longer works with Kanye and his label Good Music, although it is unclear whether the latest news is related to the fact that their contract ended in 2021. Gap announced that it is removing joint products with Kanye from its shelves. The biggest loss is the contract with Adidas with which Kanye develops the Yeezy brand. Forbes estimated that after the break in relations, the musician's fortune dropped from $1.5 billion dollars to 400 million dollars even in chicago people are covering up graffiti with images of yeah we are witnessing a classic cancellation scenario. Only this time, a truly major figure is being cancelled, who until recently seemed untouchable despite all of his provocative statements. Kanye West is a living legend of hip-hop, and until recently, he was one of the richest rappers on the planet. Just a month ago, it seemed that nothing could sink yeah, but we apparently underestimated the situation. So why are they cancelling one of the most popular and successful rappers in history? Let's figure it out. The situation with cancelling West began in early fall. In September, Kanye announced that he did not want to renew his contract with Gap and Adidas. He signed a contract with the first company to create a joint clothing line until 2030, and with the second one, he made Yeezy brand shoes for many years. By this time, Kanye had already gotten into a mini scandal with Gap. He made buyers search for new things in huge garbage bags. A few days later, he announced that he was severing ties with Gap because the king cannot live in someone else's castle. He meant that, in his opinion, he was hindered from making independent decisions, such as setting prices for products. As for Adidas, Kanye had already said in the summer that the company was stealing his ideas and also dissed the brand's chief manager on social media. In an interview with Blue Bloomberg, he stated that he was offered to buy a stake in Adidas for $1 billion, but he refused. And now, the thing about it, me and Adidas, is like, I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? In early October, Kanye held a fashion show for his new Yeezy line and caused outrage by featuring t-shirts with the slogan White Lives Matter. This was scandalous because in America, the Black Lives Matter movement was calling attention to systematic police brutality against African Americans. The slogan White Lives Matter seemed to contradict this message and called for attention to be paid to the oppression of white people as well. Kanye, who is known for controversial statements like slavery was a choice, later said he found the slogan amusing. A few days later, Adidas released a statement saying they would reconsider their partnership with Kanye. The rapper responded by saying, fuck Adidas, I'm Adidas. On October 9th, Instagram, the banned extremist social media platform, froze Kanye's account. What happened? The musician posted a screenshot of a conversation with rapper Diddy in which he wrote, this is not a game. You will be an example for all the Jews who persuaded you to write to me. No one dares to threaten me. I warned you this is war. Mind your own business. This was seen as anti-Semitic, and the American Jewish committee accused him of spreading stereotypes about Jews such as greed and power. This did not stop Kanye. He returned to Twitter, where he wrote that he would set DEFCON 3 for Jews. This is a code for heightened readiness, and that he couldn't be anti-Semitic because black people are also Jews. You played with me and tried to quietly ruin the lives of everyone who went against your agenda, Kanye declared. Twitter deleted these posts and banned him. Later, Instagram also banned him. Later, he did try to apologize. Also, I'm envious of the Jewish people. I'm envious of how they don't abort their children. I'm envious of how they don't shoot each other in the streets and then rap about it. I'm envious of how their, their families stay together. I'm envious that they turn their phones off on Friday night and the family comes together. I'm envious of how they do the business together. And I want that for the darker Jews. I want that for the black people. I want that. We need that. At this time, there was a major interview with Kanye for the Fox News channel. It is important to know about this channel that it is considered conservative with a right-wing bias and supported Donald Trump in the elections. The conversation with Kanye was at least controversial. For example, he stated that he considers body positivity to be a genocide of the black race and cited singer Lizzo as an example who writes about weight loss and according to the rapper is criticized by bots controlled from above for this. Perhaps this interview would have been quickly forgotten but Vice published excerpts that Fox News decided not to include. There, Kanye continued his anti-Semitic statements. He stated that children in school should be taught about the Jewish holiday Hanukkah because then they will better understand finances. I was biting my tongue on my political opinion because I thought it would be better for my children. And now you look up and my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated Kwanzaa. I prefer my kids knew Hanukkah than Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some 
financial engineering. It is also said that the American Family Planning Federation was created jointly with the KKK to control the Jewish population. Here is another West quote. When I talk about Jews, I mean the 12 lost tribes of Judah, the blood of Christ, who are actually a black race. In addition to this, Kanye shared a conspiracy theory. Fake children were sent to his house to corrupt his own. The rapper did not specify who sent them. In general, there are already enough reasons to cancel him at this point. Then Kanye appeared on the Drink Champs show, where he claimed that Jews own the entertainment industry. But everyone was outraged by something else. The rapper stated that George Floyd did not die from police brutality, but from a drug overdose. Kanye's argument was that the cop didn't even press his knee hard enough to kill a person. After that, the family of the deceased sued Kanye, and the show's creators removed the episode from YouTube and apologized. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, Mama, Mama his, is his girlfriend. Later in another interview, Kanye claimed that he had become a victim of the underground Jewish media mafia. For such statements, popular radio host Howard Stern called him a sick person and compared him to Hitler. If he is so mentally ill, why not appoint a guardian over his money as they did with Britney Spears? He wondered, podcaster and former TMZ employee Van Lathan revealed that a conversation between the tabloid and Kanye in 2018 was edited to remove a moment where he talks about his love for Hitler and the Nazis. Whether this is true or not, no one knows. Another source stated even more provocative things. An insider from CNN told that Yeo was enthusiastic about how Hitler was able to gain such power and spoke about how he and his party achieved a lot for the German people. The CNN source wished to remain anonymous because after working with Kanye, he signed a non-disclosure agreement which was shown to CNN journalists. According to him, Kanye was reading Hitler's biography and admired how the Nazis used propaganda. The source claims that Kanye's inner circle was fully aware of this interest in Hitler. Four sources confirmed to CNN that in 2018, the album Ye yeah was originally proposed by Kanye to be named Hitler. They all asked not to be named in the article, fearing further professional problems. All of this inevitably led to Kanye being cancelled everywhere. West's seemingly unsinkable ship has finally gone under. After Adidas severed ties with Kanye, he apparently decided to look for another partner to release his footwear. Ye showed up at the Skechers brand office in Los Angeles supposedly to meet with executives and filmed there without permission or warning. After several warnings, he was escorted out of the building. Here is the company's statement. Skechers is not considering partnering with West. We condemn his recent ambiguous statements and do not tolerate anti-Semitism or any other form of hate speech. The company would like to emphasize once again that West appeared in Skechers' corporate offices without warning or invitation. In general, Kanye's recent affairs are not going well. His family has almost fallen apart. Problems with mental health are becoming more and more noticeable, and now he has been hit by financial difficulties. Just a year ago, the whole world was eagerly anticipating the release of his album Donda, and now everything has turned in the opposite direction. Well, let's keep an eye on the situation. Even if I take this walk alone that's all for today. What do you think? Is Kanye deservedly being cancelled? Write your opinion 